in this video, we are going to have a look at conditional probability and where this topic and this concept appears in some common IB maths exam questions. Okay, so the conditional probability formula, uh, you can find this either in your formula booklet or a textbook. It says that the probability of some event A, given that some event B has happened, so this is the condition that given that B has happened, what's the probability of event A? This is going to be the intersection of the two. So it's the probability of A and B happening divided by the given that event. So it will be the probability of the second one here, the probability of B. So this is the formula. You may see it in a slightly different form, but if you ever have something given that something, it's the intersection of the two. Uh, divided by the given that component. Now these types of questions appear in a few different ways. I'm, we're going to do three quick examples, a tree diagram, Venn diagram, and a table of probabilities. Okay, so if we have in this question here, we want to find the probability of, let's say, a given B. Using our formula, we know this is the probability of the intersection of the two over the probability of the given that event. Now in a tree diagram, uh, we know that we can find the intersection by multiplying our branches of our tree. So it will be A and B, so 0 0.6 times 0 0.2. And then we need to divide it by the probability of event B happening. Now in tree diagram questions, this is the, this is the tricky bit because event B can actually happen as a result, two ways. It could finish here at event B, we could have gone A and then B, or it could have been not A and B. So to find the probability of B, our denominator, we're going to need to use our rules of probability. It's going to be A and B, so 0 0.6 times 0 0.2, or, which is plus in probability, or it could have been not A and B which would have been 0 0.4 times 0 0.7. 0 0.4 times 0 0.7. And then we can just type these into our calculator. We'll have a numerator and a denominator, and we can get that probability. So I can let you do that one. But the, the concept here is that in tree diagram questions, uh, the intersection, which is our numerator, that's quite easy to calculate. It's just go through those two branches. But the denominator, uh, you need to consider how the, the combinations of how we get to the event B, which may be uh, to uh, the, the summation of two probabilities. Okay, in a Venn diagram questions, if it said the probability of A given B, what we can do is we can still use this formula, which is the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. And the intersection of A and B will be this bit in the middle, the intersection, 0 0.3. And the probability of B is all of the probability inside B, which will be 0 0.1 and 0 0.3, so 0 0.4. So we'll get 3 over 4. So this probability uh, formula for tree diagram and a Venn diagram still works. It's both the same. Uh, but with Venn diagram questions, it's actually a little bit easier to observe the answer of a conditional probability question because if it says the probability of A given that B, I like to look at the event B as, as my sample space now. It's 0 0.4 and I'm only going to look inside this because it said given that. And then I just want to find the probability of A inside that circle of B, which would be 0 0.3 over 0 0.4. So in a Venn diagram question, it's quite easy to just observe the answer uh, before you use the formula, but it is a good idea to use the formula just to check your answer. Okay, and in the third type of question, uh, if we have a probability uh, table here, if the question says, find the probability, and let's just say that our random variable x uh, equals two, given that, x is equal to or greater than 2. This is an example. We can still use this formula. This would be the intersection of when x equals 2 and is greater than or equal to 2, uh, which if it needs to be in both, it would just be when x is equal to 2. So 
uh, it would be this 0 0.1 as the numerator, 0 0.1, because that's when it, it, it is in both of these probabilities, both of these events. And the denominator will be the probability that our random variable is greater than or equal to 2, which is this plus this plus this. So we get our 0 0.1 divided by, and we'll have uh, 0 0.8. And this will just, uh, you can just do this on your calculator to get your decimal answer. Okay, so these conditional probability questions, they do appear in, in the harder sections of questions. Uh, the goal is to either be confident with this formula up here, or really understand what the question is asking. If it's given that, that, that given that event is now going to be your, your denominator of your fraction, and you want to find and then the intersection of the two, and that will be your numerator. Okay, I encourage you to practice a bunch of these questions uh, throughout some past IB papers. Good luck.